Hey, Detective Sipowitz. It's all on the radio how arrests were made on those murders. If you come in to congratulate us, Mr. Futrell. I guess while someone was doing some real detective work, you busied yourself harassing me and my friends. I'm sorry you took it that way. Hey, I want to hear you say you harassed me, man. I want to hear you say that me and my friends are not suspects, which Detective Andrew Sipowitz might find it hard to believe since he thinks we're all a bunch of low-life niggas. All right, all right, Lewis. You made your little speech. You're done. Now. No, I'm done when I say I'm done. I'm telling you, you're done. I want to hear some more about George Washington Carver again, you ignorant cracker bigot. Excuse me, what's your business here? This is Mr. Lewis Futrell, Lieutenant. He was questioned during that Sloan matter. He was cleared. Then your business here is finished. You know, I love to take it with you one-on-one -on -one sometimes, man. Huh? When you don't have your gun and your fire hose and your little silly-ass badge. Yeah, well, let me give you my... Sipwitz, thank you for your cooperation, Mr. Futrell. You can leave now. And letting you work in a big house now, huh, boy? Which door you come in? You should leave now. Yeah, I'm out of here. Goodbye. You busy tonight? I got no big plans. Detective Sipowitz, uh, I, I got your message. You said you'd found it. You, you, you did, didn't you? Uh, yeah, come on in. Oh, thank you. There you yes. go. Yes, I'm very grateful. Thank you. We got that kid in the holding pen. How do you want to handle that? Oh, well, then. I'm not inclined to press charges. Uh, no harm done, as we say. Yeah, all right, I'll suit yourself. Detective, could you abide a gesture of gratitude from an old queen? That depends on the gesture. Here's the book of mine you said you had enjoyed. I, I signed it for you. Thanks. You know, I'll, uh... I bet when you wrote this, you weren't hanging around bars at mid-morning, picking up douchebags like this, this Bryce character who robs your medals. My work habits were more rigorous, yes. So anything keeping you from getting them rigorous again? Oh, only a deteriorating physical condition, plus the general rout of my faculties and a pervasive sense of despair. So in other words, you're getting old. I suppose it doesn't make me unique. You know what, take a shadow, but you could still do it. Well, I get my Oscar back and uh, lecture on free will. <laughs> Just shows you what kind of a police department we got here, huh? Thanks for the book. No, thank you, detective. 